What's going on ladies and gents? Welcome back to another video. It is your boy Jay Nark and today we are starting off with a new series here and that is the Tennessee Titans and that will be with our guy Malik Willis and apparently we're mentoring a rookie. Hassan Haskins has asked a lot of questions in camp. Uh, let's say long-term development. I guess he's a running back. I don't know who he is. Excuse me. I guess he's a running back for us. But I will show you guys the team, the team, how it looks like right now. And I have a lot of hope for my, uh, excuse me, Malik uh, Willis. And he's going to be pretty nice. He's going to be pretty nice. But I feel like they're kind of disrespecting him by having him just have normal depth. But this is just Madden putting that there. So I'll fix that up. I'm sure you guys were fixing that up really quick. He's going to back up Ryan Tannehill in the first year, which I think is pretty, pretty fair, I'd say. Definitely, definitely pretty fair. Player traits, normal dev, star dev. Yes. And then, yeah, he has 91 speed. Wow. This gave him 91 speed as a QB. So, but he has star dev, and he'll be behind uh, Ryan Tannehill. We have Robert Woods, Traylon Burks. Oh, boy, that's going <laughs> to that's gonna be fun using Traylon Burks. We don't have A.J. Brown anymore. So, yeah, that's, that's what they did. We picked up Austin Hooper. You know, this team's got a lot of moves we have to make, though. Because corners, corners are looking pretty, pretty tough as well, too. So, damn. <laughs> just damn. At this point, it's just really damn. And, yeah, so I don't think, I don't think uh, realistically, he'll beat out Ryan Tannehill. But, let me see if maybe, like... Maybe we make some trades now to start off for the future, I guess. Like, if we moved, like, let's say, can't move any of these guys from the looks of it. Can't even move Bud Dupree. We have a $32 million penalty if we move him. Oh, that is just fantastic. That is just fantastic. Can we even move Ryan Tannehill? We can't move him either. So, looks like Ryan Tannehill is going to be QB1 for this season. So, we're not even going to touch anything. So, let's uh, send to the playoffs. So, they actually made the playoffs going 10-7, and 7, being third in their division, dude. Holy crap. That is insane. Um, I mean, not really insane. They got Derrick Henry. Malik Willis got some upgrades, though. Malik Willis got some upgrades, for sure. And... Derrick Henry led the league. Honestly, it's kind of not surprising considering it's Derrick Henry. So, why wouldn't it? The offense was 20th. You see, Ryan Tannehill isn't QB1. Defense was 14th, so not too bad. So, obviously, wow. <laughs> Ryan Tannehill threw only two picks this season and 28 touchdowns. Okay. Um. Damn. <laughs> well, I'll say damn first and foremost. Damn. Uh. Wow. Was not expecting that. Harold Landry had 14 sacks. Okay. Jeffrey Simmons had nine. Okay, so Harold Landry is a beast. He had a good amount of interceptions, too. Roger McCurry, the rookie, got two picks. But, damn, 20 touchdowns, two picks. Maybe we could trade Tano for a pick. Maybe we could trade Tano for a pick. So, I'm going to show you guys the overalls of the, our guys before uh, we go into this playoff playoff matchup. So, Tano is at 85 still. Jalen Burks only went to 74. Robert Woods is in that in 88. Offensive line is not too bad. Radiance is actually progressing really nicely. Defense, Bud Dupree is a 75. Didn't do anything this season. So that will be really fun trying to move him. Roger McCurry, he had two picks. Honestly, I like our young cornerback crew. I, I, I like these guys a lot. So I feel like we should really develop them and um you know see how we go from there. But... We have the Denver Broncos. We're facing Russell Wilson and the Broncos. So let's see how we do there. We actually won 34 to 23. So now we're facing the Jacksonville Jaguars, who are 13 and 4. And basically, an AFC South matchup here. We just beat Russell Wilson and company. So maybe we'll beat uh, Trevor Lawrence in them. But let's see how we do there. And we actually won. So now we're facing another AFC South opponent in the Colts in the Commerce Championship. And uh Bro, this is supposed to be about <laughs> this is supposed to be about Miles Miles um I mean Malik Willis. We're having too much success right now. Way too much success. But we are facing the Colts right now, who have a very tough defense. 
And the winner of this goes to the Super Bowl. So, and the winner of this, we lost by three, 25 to 22. Wow. So that's heartbreaking, actually. It's actually really heartbreaking. <laughs> we were one game away from the Super Bowl. But that's why Malik Willis was drafted, because he's going to get a Super Bowl out of them. And our contract got extended. We got a breakout player, and that breakout player was Christian Fulton. Hold the NFC to less than 200 passing yards. Oh, let's see if they made the Pro Bowl. So we went all the way to the conference championship, beat the Jaguars. That's pretty nice. But Tannehill didn't make the Pro Bowl. Derrick Henry did. So did T-Law. <laughs> um, receivers, none of our guys made it. Tight ends, none of our guys. Offensive line, none of our guys made it either. Danico Autry made the Pro Bowl, I guess. Uh, Harold Landry, of course, he balled out. And that's just about it with, uh, with our Pro Bowlers. So not too bad, not too bad. And... Um, Huh. So I want to see how the playoffs went. I mean, we went on a pretty good run. We almost went to the Super Bowl. We were the seventh seed, so we all we went all the way there. So we beat the number two seed. We beat the number two and the one seed. So Tannehill didn't throw a pick. Russell Wilson threw two picks and got sacked. Derrick Henry led the way. Robert Woods did really nice receiving the ball. Um, Harold Landry got a sack, of course, and then Zach Cunningham and. Amani Hooker both got picks, so that was nice. Then we beat the one seed in the Jaguars, and we both threw just one touchdown, but Trevor Lawrence got sacked four times. Derrick Henry took off as well. And then defense, Harold Landry, Roger McCreary, and Jerry Simmons all got sacks too. And then in the AFC Conference Championship, we ended up losing 25-22 to the Colts. Matt Ryan threw two touchdowns and one pick on us. But we got sacked five times. This is insane to me because Ryan Tannehill didn't throw a single interception. He only threw two interceptions for a whole season. So that's pretty That's pretty nice, actually. And the game was pretty much even, to say the least. But sacks-wise, uh, Zach Cunningham got a sack. But they sacked us a lot, too. So couldn't really do much there. But Christian Fulton got a pick as well. So not too bad. It's Colts versus Packers in the Super Bowl. And let's see who takes that. And we will we'll be well underway into the Malik Willis era. And we only have $7 million in cap room available. Wow. Um, mm. And the Colts actually ended up winning the Super Bowl 35-28. Wow. Bobby O'Kirk, won the Super Bowl MVP. Colts didn't win any awards. But, all right, there you have it. Colts, Matt Ryan wins his first ring. And, uh... Now we have to go re-sign players. We have about, they said we have 7 million. I think we have, let's see. So we have about 28 million here. And Austin Hooper is one of them. He's about 27 years old. I'll re-sign him because I think he'll be pretty nice for us. So we pick up Austin Hooper. And Nick Westbrook, it kind Seems like a not too bad player, but he's actually quite a lot of money, so we're gonna let him go. We have Tier Tar, I'm gonna let him go. Demarcus Walker. For depth, maybe just sign him, I guess. Yeah, we get him back for depth. Derek Roberson. Nah, that's too much for just a depth player. And then a lot of these guys we're just gonna let go. Yeah, we re-signed Austin Hooper. We have about 19 million going into going into the draft. We need a center. It looks like Ben Jones retired. You know, this was the last Super Bowl run, so can't really complain about that. But we have 19 million to go with. And now it's time to see if I can move on with Ryan Tannehill. So Ryan Tannehill is an 83 overall. He's regressing. He's 34. Okay. So Ryan Tannehill will be the guy we move on from. Receivers, Robert Woods too. We'll have Traylon Burks here, so we make some big moves here. We're gonna make some big moves just so we can have cap. And I think you guys would uh respect that as well too, that we make those kinds of moves. So maybe we can move players for like picks or something like that. So maybe Ryan Tannehill, we send him to a QB needy team. The Buccaneers, bro, he'll probably get revenge on us, but if we go for a first round straight up for Ryan Tannehill, it goes through him. So we just got rid of Ryan Tannehill. 
And then now we have Robert Woods, who I also want to move on from. He's 30 years old, so he's still got a, like a good solid two years left that he'll get you like seven on seven to eight hundred yards. But let's go to the trade center. I'm gonna see if we can move Robert Woods for a uh, for honestly another pick. I don't think a pick would hurt too much. A pick wouldn't hurt too bad, I don't think. Or a center, honestly. We could trade for a center. I actually like to trade for a center. A, a center that could like work in our scheme here. And young one too. Tyler Riads, Biadaz, Jason Kelsey's thirty four, Matt Hennessy's twenty four, Chase Rulay's twenty nine, Giants no, Jaguars no, Jets no, Frank Ragno. No. David Andrews is 30. Andre James is okay. Tyler Linderbaum, though. He played a whole season just now. Will that go through for Tyler Linderbaum? And it does. So we just gave up Robert Woods for Tyler Linderbaum. So he's got a whole new center. So he should be pretty nice for us. And now we have about $48 million in cap room. So we're going to use this. Because Malik Willis is the guy we're, we're building on. I'm going to use this now to get... A D tackle <laughs> and that D tackle will start off with Solomon Thomas. We'll get him for depth. Jeffrey Simmons is pretty good with where he's at, so we're just gonna get him a backup in like Tyler Lancaster. Can't complain with that. And then left end, we have Danico Autry, who was a pro bowler. Let's keep in mind, he was a pro bowler. And I do gotta move on from Bud Dupree, but I don't know when I'll do that. Inside linebacker, we definitely need that as well. Right outside linebacker, we're actually pretty good with Harold Landry. So, we're just going to sign. Honestly, we're probably going to draft the backup for him too. Corners are really good. I like our corners a lot. Safety, a backup would be nice. PJ Williams backing up Kevin Byard. Both 29-year-old guys in the back, back end of the team. And then Amani Hooker is our young safety that I'm definitely content with for sure. We signed Matthias Farley as our backup there. We don't have a good kicker, though. And I guess we could sign Matt Gay, because I don't really like our kickers that we got. Reggie Block and Elliot Fry, I think. So I'm, I'm pretty much good on that. But we just signed those players. Let's see if we pick them up. So we picked up all those guys that we looked to sign. So that's good. And um, we got a new kicker, too. And we got fifth-year option to sign. And that's for Jeffrey Simmons. Without a doubt, yes, we are picking him up. They said he almost brought no value to the team. Is he drunk? He might He might be drunk <laughs> because he had nine sacks last season. So, Jeffrey Simmons, you're staying on the squad. And, uh, yeah, so let's go to the draft. So, our earliest pick is the 25th pick in the NFL draft. And so, we go there. Michael Mayer, tight end, went to the Broncos. Interesting. Well, we have a pick here. Oof. They say we need a right tackle. I want to see what we actually need, though, because I, I, I already forgot. So we look at the roster. Go adjust the lineup. We got Malik Willis. We need, he needs a back. We need a receiver. We need, honestly, offensive line help, too. We need a right tackle. Need a right tackle. Need a left us a linebacker. Need the lineman. Need a corner. Uh, so left us a linebacker, a D end, I believe. So right outside linebacker, a D end. So let's see, a right outside linebacker, nothing really available. A left end, nothing really available. D tackle, Jalen Carter could work. I think he would kind of fit our squad. I'm going to pick up Jalen Carter. He has hidden dev. I think he'll be pretty good for us. And then what our next pick, which is the 29th pick, we can maybe go right tackle just so we get the ultimate protection for um our quarterback. Yeah, so we'll go right tackle. We have Miles Hinton here, and he seems pretty good. A run block, B pass block, all that good stuff. So he looks he looks like the real deal. So we're going to pick him up. He has hidden dev. And then there we should be good. With our next pick, 
I think we're gonna go with um oh we don't even have a receiver. We don't even have a receiver. I just thought about that. Oh my gosh. We only have Traylon Burks. We literally only have Traylon Burks. Joseph Nada. Jordan Addison from Pittsburgh. He's actually really good. Oh my gosh, we don't have anything though. This is not looking too good, guys. It's not looking too good. I guess we'll just get our get our QB to back him up. And a QB I like here that's left here that um that I know besides um Malik Cunningham. Malik Cunningham will be an undrafted free agent. We're gonna get Dylan Gabriel. He's actually pretty solid. We're gonna pick him up. And uh, he's, he'll, he's just for backup duties. And then now, we'll uh, send him in the draft. So, Jalen Carter actually was a 74 overall D tackle. The right tackle was a 72. Dylan Gabriel was 64, but we knew that. We got another D tackle, a receiver, and a left end, Braylon Ingraham, Milton Wright. So, not too bad with our picks there. So, we have an 80 offense, 80 defense, and we'll be facing the Falcons first. And let me show you guys what moves we made. And this is the team that we're going to try to get to bring us to a Super Bowl. And we got a new right tackle. We do not have a receiver that is, uh, besides Traylon Burks, it's not looking too good there. <laughs> but we're going to make a trade. We're definitely going to make a trade. D-line, I'm going to start Carter over Solomon Thomas. Corners, I'm okay with. Damn. Uh, we got some work to do. We got some work to do. And let's see if we can do those trades now. Let's see if we can do those now. And um, they're so worried about quarterback position. Like, that's not our biggest concern. Trust me. But a receiver we're going to be looking for. Someone who has speed, honestly. And does Darnell Mooney have speed? Because I'd like to see if that's the case. 94 speed for Darnell Mooney? Huh. We might have to go back to Darnell, Darnell Mooney in a sec, but see if there's anyone else here potentially. Broncos have some solid receivers. Darnell Mooney seems like the guy though. I forgot I forgot the Cardinals got um Marquise Brown. They also have Rondale Moore. Rondale Moore, if he's he has 94 speed as well. He's kind of short though. He's kind of short. Kind of want a guy who's a little bit taller. Julio went to the Colts. That's insane. That is just insane. OBJ went to the Dolphins. Are you kidding me? Jalen Waddle, OBJ, and Tyreek Hill. All right. Just because of that, I'm going to have to take Jalen Waddle if that's the case. He has 97 speed. All right. Jalen Waddle, Titans, I'm giving them a third. To get Jalen Waddle, yeah. I'm going to have to. Yeah. Dude, what do you guys want? A, a right tackle? You guys want a right tackle? I'll give you guys a right tackle. We have Dylan Radins. I'll give you guys him. And they're somewhat interested. How about that if we went did that straight up? What would what would no it doesn't go through? J Dylan Ruddens and a third for Jalen Waddle. Alright, I'll go as high as a second. That will kind of go through. So I'm gonna give them a six of next year, second, and Dylan Radens. And we just got Jalen Waddle. All right, so we just got our new speed number one, so that's lit. And we also need an outside linebacker because Bud Dupree is not it. And um, yeah, Bud Dupree is just not it. So let's see what we got here. Hassan Reddick, Andrew Van Ginkle, not too bad. We're going to keep looking though. Aziz Ojaleri, Trayvon Walker. Demon Clowney? Demon. Sheesh. Demon Clowney. Max Crosby. Max Crosby would be a lot. Max Crosby and Jeffrey Simmons on the same defense? That's insane. That's insane. I doubt a third would go through, though. Yeah, we would have to send the world for Max Crosby. And if we were to get him... Actually, you know what? You know what? Why not? Why not go all out? Why not go all out, you know? I got a first to give. A first round straight up for Max Crosby. You guys would love to do business? All right, a first and a third for Max Crosby. What? Improve it just a little bit? All right, a fifth as well. Three draft picks, and we just got Max Crosby. All right, 
we just bumped up the team several notches, okay? And um, I think you guys are going to like that too. And it's, they should be helpful by a ton. But now it's just Zach Cunningham's 10 million? Jeez. Jeez. Bud Dupree, we still can't move Bud Dupree, so he's got good speed. Maybe if we move him to middle linebacker, maybe he might prove to be like, let's see. Let's see if he's got like good play rec. Play recognition is a 78. He has 79 tackling, 88 hit power, 74 block shed. He's not that good of a pass rusher. What happened to Rashawn Evans? Yeah, what happened to Rashawn Evans? Isn't he still on the... Wait, I'm on a search of Rashawn Evans. So, Rashawn Evans is on the... Uh, he is on the Falcons. So, that's that's just fantastic. But, Bud Dupree, we're going to move him to middle linebacker simply because we can't keep... like We literally can't keep him as an outside linebacker and we can't get rid of him either. He's a $28 million cap hit. So, that's just an L. But, middle linebacker, Bud Dupree... Maybe he'll be a force. Who knows? Nope. He just goes down. But, hey, we'll have depth, right? So, can't be too bad. And um, I want to see if maybe we could sign a free agent to back up Harold Landry. Just to back up Harold Landry. Just for, just to be safe. Because Max Crosby is our left outside linebacker, who I'm very happy about. And then right outside, we can get, like... Olosiakami Adenyi. I think I got his name right. So we pick him up. It's cool. So we shore up that that position. And yeah, I think I think the team should be good. We have Max Crosby now. Hopefully he's wearing his correct number. But let me show you guys what's the team we're gonna be rocking with in the next episode. As we have Malik Willis as QB1 now. Jalen Waddle as our new receiver with Traylon Burks. And um, we went to the conference championship last year, so we got to see if we can replicate that. And this is the team. This is the defense that will hopefully get the job done. And uh, we'll see you guys there.